interesting to Bill because there was a moment there he looked like he was ready to shut it down Stan and had gone to the end of the bench to sit down as Thaddeus Young coming up with a few gems here in this first quarter but back to Scotty Barnes it was then a conversation Scotty Barnes certainly less than 100 percent but certainly a player that brings a lot to the table for the Raptors it goes Trent and a little step back on Niang. He's got it. He's got a little rhythm going. Forcing him to switch. Niang, a, a very solid player and a very smart defender, but doesn't have the quickest feet in the world. Trent able to create space. Siakam on Harden. Harden kicks it. Reed in the corner for three. Good looking stroke. Knocks it down. Talking about the need for defense and to keep the ball in front of them. The way the Raptors are attacking that. Two possessions in a row for Trent, and this time he gets by him and gets fouled. See Embiid, he had that concerned look on his face as well. His worst quarter in the players to be bothering him. Philadelphia in their small lineup. Look at Reed. A spin and a finish. Nicely done by Paul Reed. Well, Toronto pressed there after the free throw. Full court pressure. Philadelphia ready for it and did a great job on the attack. Textbook. Oh, what a leave. Boucher from Young. Paul Reed bringing great energy to the game. It's a Central Florida resident like myself. <laughs> That's right. Siakam keeps stacking him up. He's got 12 now. And you're seeing Pascal in this game a lot more aggressive than Stan mentioned right from the get-go. Absolutely. And you see also Tobias Harris coming back in the game to guard him. That was a switch. The pack Boucher. Well, this is Toronto's pace right now. Mm, Trent knocks down the jumper. Gary Trent Jr. with 11 now. Game did Toronto in game three stand. And even Doc Rivers admitted we really probably should have lost that game. We didn't play well. and That we just saw they can't have. The undisciplined reach on James Harden. James Harden not a great finisher anymore at the rim. Six from Kia. Official automotive partner of the NBA. Kia, movement that inspires. And brought to you by Geico. Switch today. See all the ways you could save. Brian Anderson with Stan Van Gundy. The Bill Kareem. Our talented TNT. Sometimes more production and efficiency than others. But always great energy. He's 29. He's only in his fifth year. He was undrafted. Played his college ball at Oregon. Embiid knocks it down. Needed that one. Joel Embiid has had a tough time finding that stroke and his first made field goal. Van Vliet comes up short. Offensive board. Boucher on the take. And the reverse. No. And the putback by Thaddeus Young. Getting some great minutes from Young. And they attacked the zone with more pace that time. The ball moved well. They attacked the rim and got on the glass. Zones notoriously weak rebounding defenses. All the way around the horn it goes. Green short, long rebound. On the floor goes Danny Green, but Siakam is there. Good effort there by Danny Green. His minutes are up. Siakam misses. Back tap, another offensive rebound. Van Vliet kicks it. Trent Jr. for three. That one's good. Toronto basketball to a tee. Offensive rebound, second chance points. Danny Green wide open, short. Fred Van Vliet is hurting here. He's been bothered by yeah, a knee he's, injury. Yeah, he can't even get up the floor right now. Mm. Siaka missed the three. Van Vliet with the yeah. take foul. He's going to have to come out. And he is coming out. I don't know what happened there. He just tore his jersey. Yeah, he's done. He's very, very frustrated with what went on. But you could see after that Gary Trent three on an assist from him, he couldn't get back and match up, and then he couldn't get up the floor, and he immediately go into the locker room. Yeah. So you got Van Vliet, you got Scotty Barnes, both tweaked up a little bit, and Van Vliet on his way back. And he knows it is serious. He has been dealing with this knee pain, and it's obviously turned him to something more significant. It's the right knee. Harden on the take, and got free ring inside, lays it in. That one's too easy. 
That's a straight line drive to the rim. And Philly back in that zone again. Nice pass. Boucher with a two-handed jam. Well, that's where you want to get the ball against the zone. You've got to get it in the middle, and you've got to get it behind the zone on the baseline. That time they go big to big for a dunk. Young out of the pack, finds Trent, three-pointer, down! And it's Young once again, his third assist. The bench, Thaddeus Young, just four points combined and no assist in the first three games. Fred Van Vliet back to the locker room. Scotty Barnes hobbled as well, retweaked his left ankle. Now Philadelphia turns it over. Been a frustrating afternoon for Embiid. Well, they're, he's struggling with the double teams right now. They came earlier this time. Came before the dribble and just threw the ball behind the cutter out of bounds. OG Ananobi working with Young here. Harden on him. Ananobi rises up and missed it. Embiid with the rebound. Joel Embiid just one for six. He does have three boards. Dealing with that thumb injury, and this time with the right hand, he goes forcefully and scores with a jump hook. Well, that's the answer for him to post deeper and catch it in the paint. Catch it in there with two feet in the paint. There's no chance to double. He can go right up and score. He's going to work harder. Going to have to work harder to get position down there rather than settling for catching it off the lane. Harris going coast to coast, lays it in. Siakam thought there was contact on the other end. He stayed on the other end of the floor. Lead is eight for Toronto with a basketball. Three minutes to go.